All right, we're talking heat. We're talking a little rain. Is the rain moving out for the evening? Rain is moving out slowly for the evening. A couple of pop up storms remain and the heat still exists for those who haven't seen any rain. Mm. So it's really kind of a mixed bag of weather to talk about. One place that saw some soaking rain. I drove right through it on my way to work today. Heavy rainfall along Highway 280. This is our Grandview Tower Cam. By the looks of things, though, you'd be shocked to know that there were uh, those showers and storms that rolled through the Inverness area earlier today. Now we're watching that sunshine beaming down. Temperatures at Grandview, though, because of the passing rain, upper 70s. Here's a live picture in Anniston where we were just tracking some rain pushing through East Alabama. Things have quieted. The sun is peeking through, but the sun not really warming things up all that much. Cooling rain showers dropping temperatures into the upper 70s, but still a little muggy outside. But hey, we'll take 77 on a June afternoon, right? East Alabama, that's where most of the wet weather was this afternoon, along with the storms. Heaviest rainfall now towards that Interstate 85 corridor, all the way from Montgomery, Auburn, into LaGrange, Georgia. And what I'm really tracking of remnants in our viewing area is a little cluster of thunderstorms from Abernant to the Mercedes plant. And this is tracking off to the east right now. So there will be some communities impacted in the uh, southwestern edge of Jefferson County and also northern Bibb County. So you have Lakeview. This storm is kind of encroaching on you right now. You're starting to see that light rain. Woodstock in about six minutes. And then you have Smithson, Smithson and Bamford in the next 15 to 18 minutes as we track this just to the south of 459. So wouldn't be surprised if a few folks even near 150, Highway 150 there in Hoover, back through Bessemer, see some light rain. But I do want to talk about the heat for a second, too. Because of the passing showers, most of uh, Jefferson County, Shelby County, they are now exempt from the heat advisory. But West Alabama and our southernmost counties still include it. And when I overlay the numbers here, you can see why. 90s, even at this hour of the night. Hamilton, Fayette, both at 90. Jasper's at 95. But then look at this. What a contrast. Upper 70s in Birmingham, lower 70s from Gadsden to Anniston because of that rain. But it's all tracking out of here by 8, 9 o'clock tonight. The rain should be gone completely for central Alabama. It will be a quiet start to our Tuesday morning. So those storms move east. Those lows fall into the mid-70s. And then for tomorrow, the heat is back. Temp Temperatures rebound into the mid 90s. Very limited chance for rain tomorrow, but there's still a chance. Maybe not as the coverage won't be as great as today, and we'll continue to see some on and off showers as we move closer into the weekend as well. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Sharon.